see this R44 is very streamlined, it's a very efficient machine, but the shape as well, it's almost like a bullet shape. So she really cuts through the, the air very efficiently, not, not, not a lot of drag. Uh, she's got high inertia rotors. You see it's, it's quite a, uh, just a simple, simple main rotor head. And uh, they, unfortunately they are, they are susceptible to mass bumping. But if you fly below 110 knots, uh, if you have smooth air, you can actually go over 110 knots, indicated airspeed. But she's quite fast. She's very fast. Fuel efficiency is, is great compared to other machines. She's actually unique. You don't find a lot of other machines in the same performance class as the R44. So we love it. You use it for game capture, filming, tourism, wedding flights, whatever you want to use a helicopter for. You see the, the skids, it's, it's well finished. Some some uh, uh, fairings on the skid struts as well. On the on this side, you can have a look. Here you've got your hydraulic systems, push pull rods. You've got your main rotor gearbox here. Your fuel uh, sample drainage drainage points. Uh, there's your visible uh, oil glass for your main rotor uh, oil level. So it's a very easy machine to pre -fly. It's got a Equivalent of 9 liter uh, Lycoming IO 540 engine. It's a flat six cylinder. Uh, it runs at about 2700, close to 2700 RPM. So it's a low revving engine, but very reliable. They are also derated to make sure the engine is performs its full life and, and, and there's no issue with the reliability. The engines are extremely reliable. Back here, you can have a look at this, your cooling system, your squirrel cage blower fans with cool cooling ducts going to all your systems. There you can see your drive shaft going into your tail rotor to the back. And uh, that works through a gearbox. So the tail rotor runs about 2500 RPM, main rotor about 420 RPM. So, uh, but that is the sole purpose of that is to turn the chopper around in the hover, basically counter, countering your torque and, and controlling the movement against the reaction of the rotors. This is your cooling system here, intact for your cooling fan. You see she's got quite a long tail, which you have to be careful for if you operate in, in the bush with game capture especially. Always know where your tail is to avoid damage. This is very effective, this vertical stabilizer. And uh, so once you, get, once you get forward speed, the stabilizer actually takes a lot of uh, workload off you and you actually you don't even need to use your your rudders while you ferrying or cruising tow rotor system one of the most effective designs that i've seen it works extremely well the rotation is actually the other way around uh, compared to the r22 but on the 44 it's a beautiful rotor system you won't easily run out of pedal you might run out of energy performance wise but this tow rotor you won't get to a situation where you run out of pedal not easily. If you if you do that, then you've really done something wrong. Yeah, you can have a look. This just to protect people from walking into the tail rotor from the other side. Same thing on this side. This is where we do our oil checks, oil levels. This is your air conditioning pump there. Your battery. It's a 24 volt starting system. You start like a dream. With the hot start, you have to know every machine has its trick. You have to just prime it correctly, and then she will start. 100%. She's also equipped with bladder fuel tanks in case of a crash. There is like a Kevlar bag that contains the contents to avoid fuel spills, so it helps a lot. Since Robinson have introduced this, there, there hasn't been post crash fires, and it's really a reliable system. And just to add its safety feature. Yeah, that's the, that's the R44 Raven 2 for you. The Raven 2 is the only R44 Robinson that you can have an air conditioning unit with. We, we operate all the Cape Calvary, Southern Africa, temperatures are quite high in summer, so you really want that air conditioning unit. Uh, it's not an aftermarket option, you have to take it with a new machine, so for resale as well, it's good if you can get a, a machine with the air conditioning unit. The Raven 2 engine is not as powerful as the Raven 2. And so you don't have an air conditioning option. So Raven 2 has fuel injection compared to the carburetor fed uh, IO or just the 0540 in the Raven 1 and the old Astra. But uh, she's got hydraulic controls. 44 is a beautiful machine. It's perfect for the private owner. 
for commercial use, operating cost is low compared to other machines in the industry. The fuel consumption is low, you're going to laugh, but she's about 3.6 kilometers per liter. That's very low compared to helicopters, but it's quite heavy compared to vehicles. Thank you very much. This is your pilot seat, your cyclic lever, controls your direction, and uh, there's your anti torque pedals, left and right. This basically to, to counter the torque uh, reaction of the main rotor, and that uh, changes the pitch on your tail rotor for torque either to the left or the right hand side. You've got your avionics switches. This is the older Robinson avionics, uh, Robinson cockpit, the older type. You get a new one that's, that's moving more towards glass glass cockpit and this machine you can see this also has air conditioning up here it's got a, a very powerful air conditioning unit with uh, leather seats four seats a pilot plus three passengers got your night instruments artificial horizons di's uh, got your uh, gps's everything so it's a very nice machine very fast powerful and efficient